Here we have number four. What values of x would make this a this polygon a parallelogram? Well, it's a parallelogram if we know that the opposite sides here are congruent. So that means the x here has to be equal to that 70. So if x is equal to 70, then that would be a parallelogram because the opposite sides are congruent. Next, b. Well, how are the uh, the consecutive interior angles are con um, are related? Well, we know that these here have to be supplementary. That means they add up to 180. So the x plus 2x has to be equal up to 180. So that means this becomes 3x is equal to 180. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x is equal to 60. So as long as x is equal to 60, we know that this is a parallelogram. D, we know that these are parallel. Therefore, we can determine that these two angles here should be supplementary. So that means x minus 10 plus x plus 10 is equal to 180. x plus x is 2x. Minus 10 plus 10 becomes 0. That equals to 180. Divide by 2 to both sides. This cancels, leaving you with x is equal to 90 degrees. So there you go. As long as these hold true, it makes the properties of the parallelogram, making this quadrilateral a parallelogram.